What's up, ladies, and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mandy Glam, and I'm back with another perfume video. If you're new to my channel, then thank you for stopping by. Welcome, welcome. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded or notified, I should say, every time I upload a video. And for those of you that have been rocking with me so far, thank you so much. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching my videos. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So. I'm going to be talking about five of my fragrances that I'm really loving right now. Um, most of them are kind of citrusy, summertime fragrances, so I think maybe one or two, maybe three of them actually I would wear um, in the fall and winter time, but yeah, right now I'm rocking them for summer. So I don't know where you are, but here in Texas baby it's already getting hot okay it's already like climbing up into the hundreds okay uh if you hear a little humming noise ignore it don't worry about it that is my ac unit i need that running at all times okay because it's hot outside and i'm i got all this hair going on okay all this hair honey i need some ac on me okay i'm hot so by the way if you're interested in this hair comment below i have been going back and forth with um whether or not i'm gonna start doing some wig reviews i've done a few on my channel um already but i feel like i kind of want to get back into it i'm not sure but yeah i love this wig i love the color um i do like to go light in the summertime but i didn't want to compromise my real hair you know i'm trying to promote growth and healthy hair so Putting color on my hair right now is not going to be the best thing. So, I did the next thing, which is to put on this lovely unit, honey. And I think this wig is very fabulous. But anyway, enough of me rambling on about this hair. So, if you want to see which five fragrances I'm really loving right now, then stay tuned to this video. Alright, let's get into this video, okay? So, um... I'm just going to start with this one. This is Hot Couture by Givenchy. And um, I recently added it back into my collection a few weeks ago. And you guys, this fragrance is just so sexy. It's so pretty. It's so fun. I cannot say enough about this fragrance. I cannot get enough about... I can't get enough of this fragrance is just so good you know um so the reason why i like this fragrance for right now is because it's it has berries in it okay so when i first spray it i i do smell like the berries i smell a pepper note in this fragrance um it said that it has some citrus in it but let me read y'all the notes. It is uh, considered a citrus fragrance. It has citrus in it, which I, I smelt that already. Orange, raspberry, lime, mangolia, pepper, vetiver, and sandalwood. Also amber. So, I do smell the raspberry in it. I smell the pepper. Um, I don't know if I smell the lime. And I don't know if I smell the orange. The vetiver is prominent in this. The sandalwood, the amber. I'm trying to get a whiff of the lime. I mean, this fragrance is just so gorgeous. I'm not mad at it. And I just feel like it's perfect for summertime. Because it does have this citrus notes in it. Um, and the pepper, like, I don't know. Some people may think that pepper, you know, may not mesh well with the summer heat, but I don't know. I beg to differ. I think this is going to be really, really, really good for the summertime, and I have worn it. I did spray some on me when I first got it. I got it off of FragranceNet, and the longevity is amazing. The projection is amazing. This fragrance is just amazing, like... 
I don't know what else to say about this fragrance. Uh, this is an Eau de Parfum, in case you're wondering. And this is a 1.7 uh, fluid ounce. And I just, I just simply adore this fragrance, y'all. I just love this fragrance. It's everything. It's everything. Everything. It's everything. All right. My next one up is going to be, and this is in no particular order. Okay, I just want to say that. Um, this is Marc Jacobs uh, Also Decadent. This is a flanker, I believe, of the Marc Jacobs uh, decadent um, perfume. I do own the original um, Marc Jacobs Decadence and I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I feel like the two smell nothing alike, okay? If you have the original Marc Jacobs Decadence, baby, you know, you know it's doing a whole lot, okay? This one is baby sister. She's very toned down. She's very mild. She's very mellow. She doesn't even remind me of the original Marc Jacobs Dickens. She just doesn't. But the reason why I like this fragrance, y'all, is because I feel like it gives me a minty note or a green note um, that I really like and I think is appropriate for the summertime. If I'm going to be out about in heat or whatever, there's, hey, there's no way I'm going to be able to avoid the heat here. It is what it is, okay? Oh, this is giving me a green note. Now, I since I've had this, I've been playing with this and trying to figure out, like, if I was going to sell it, if I was going to keep it. I just kept going back to it and smelling it, and it just, it has a very green note to it. And once I did my research, research on Fragrantica, I figured out, well, I didn't figure out, but I saw what that green note was and I don't have anything like it in my collection uh, alright so let's get into the notes on this one it is considered a sheer floral fruity sweet green amber fragrance and I don't know what the green is um, now I did see the whole picture diaphragm on Fragrantica look I don't have a green thumb so I don't know what that green plant was that I saw but it is that green note in this definitely stands out to me and I think that's why I like it so much because it just reminds me of outside you know if you ever went outside and you come back in the house and somebody might say oh you smell like you've been outside that's what I get from this but I get it in a very pleasant way if that makes any sense to you I don't have anything like it. It's, it's very different. The floral in it is not very in your face. Y'all know how I feel about a big bouquet of floral fragrances. I'm, I'm not like on that level yet where I feel like, you know, I can handle a lot of florals. I'm not a big floral girl, you know. And this fragrance, I can handle it. Like, it, it's okay. Because that green note kind of meshes very well with it and it's it's a very good balance let me just say that all right so moving on to my next fragrance I need a sip of water I don't know for some reason when I get on camera I'm projecting my voice and it irritates my throat sometimes so anyway okay so this one um, I found this one on sale at Nordstrom Rack um and it was actually on sale and um i smelled it and at first sniff i'm not gonna lie i didn't know how to feel about it but i kind of hung around the store a little bit looked at some other stuff blah 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 gave it time to like dry down on my skin or whatever and it turned into this beautiful fragrance and i wasn't expecting that so I went ahead and picked it up. I think I got it for like $39 or something like that. But this is called Saharit. And it is made by an American niche perfumer uh, called Blocky. And yeah. so I think this is just a really amazing fragrance for the summertime. Because it does have a green note in it. Okay. I'm going to spray it for y'all. 
So this is one of those fragrances where, you know, once you spray it, it you got to let it dry down to get the whole benefit of the fragrance, to really see what it does. You can't like spray it and smell it and then make a decision about it. You know, you do you have fragrances like that? I, I've been running into a few, a few fragrances where like I have to kind of let it dry down to actually smell all the notes in the fragrance and this happens to be one of them. I don't it's just, I wore it to work and it's just amazing. It is just so amazing. The projection, the longevity, when it dries down, it turns into this, the most uh, intoxicating fragrance. You know, it's just, uh, it's just so good. So here are the notes in the Sahara: Pink pepper, mandarin orange, geranium, uh, cashmere wood, vetiver, and patchouli. It's the geranium that attracts me and when I first got it and sprayed it I kept smelling a green note in it and I didn't know what it was until today it's geranium I believe geranium is a, is a green I think geranium is green <laughs> let me just make sure of course I love the vetiver I love the patchouli um, and the pink pepper the pink pepper stands out in this fragrance as well I just feel like all the notes combined, once it's dried down, just gives me a beautiful fragrance. I feel like this fragrance is well like put together, if that makes sense. I feel like it's just, it was a pleasant surprise. I will say that. This was a pleasant surprise. Um, I was kind of skeptical when I first, you know, bought it. I didn't know if I really would like it. but it's just been a pleasant surprise I love this fragrance I love it to death love it so again this is Sahara um, this is an eau de parfum and um, this is a 1.7 ounce bottle love it. love it okay so the next one I'm going to talk about is going to come from Tom Ford and this is gray vetiver i don't have the top for it this was actually gifted to me by a friend of mine who watched my um video where i talked about my love for men fragrances and i talked about a few of them that i own in my collection and so he hit me up and he was like i got one for you i hope you like it and he brought it to me and look y'all this is like a brand new bottle okay so i'm so grateful to have this in my collection and he was so right i love this fragrance to death okay this has just been this was just so nice it was so nice of him to give me this you know what I'm saying? This is time for it. Come on, like, I know this wasn't cheap. So so let's get into this. I've worn this one already. Of course, when I first got it, I wore it to work the next day. I had to. You know, I am a big fan of Tom Ford fragrances. I have always been ever since Black Orchid hit the scene. Um, I'm just a big Tom Ford fra uh, I'm a big Tom Ford fan when it comes to fragrances. I realized that I have a lot of fragrances that have vetiver in it and so it just makes sense that this is one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances because of the vetiver but this one also has a citrus component that I actually do like as well so um, let's get into the notes of this one it has citrus vetiver and it said it has spices so I do smell a little spicy um note in this fragrance and i don't know exactly what it is it could be like some pepper this fragrance i'm thinking it might be like some type of pepper note but i got the notes on fragrantica and it didn't really go into detail on what that spice note was it just says spices so but i'm very much attracted to the vetiver i'm very much attracted to the citrus and i'm not mad at that spicy peppery note whatever that is in this fragrance I think this is a wonderful fragrance 
Now, I don't know if you're the type of person that prefers to wear fragrances with vetiver in the wintertime. Most of my fragrances that have vetiver in them, I do wear them in the wintertime. But I felt like this one was appropriate to wear um, in the spring and summer. I think I, when I first got it, I think I got it like maybe a month or so ago. It's been over 30 days since I got it for sure. And I wore it to work and that day it was warm um, but it just performed so well on my skin. The longevity is awesome. The projection is awesome. It's just really good. I feel like um, it could be a unisex fragrance. He bought it for himself so I think it'll work well with a male or a female honestly. From what I understand, fragrances are not subject to gender anyway, so you know you like what you like, right? Right. But okay. I have two more that I'm going to talk about. So this next one was actually um, a very pleasant surprise for me. It has rose in it and Y'all know, if y'all watched my videos before, y'all know I've gone on and on and on and on about how I'm not really attracted to rose fragrances. I don't know. I Now that I'm learning more and I'm paying more attention to the notes, I think really is I don't have a problem with rose fragrances, but I think what it's going to boil down to type of rose is in the fragrance. I think that's what it's going to be. Um, so for what I paid for it, I, I love I love it. I got it cheap and I love the smell. So I, it was a win-win situation for me. Okay, win. I was winning all the way around that day when I found this one. The perfume heaven opened up for me, child. I love this fragrance. I love it so much. Oh, my. oh it's just so good. So this is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. And y'all, when I first, even when I take the top off and smell it, it gives me a sparkly, champagne -y type vibe, but with rose, okay? It's just, uh, it kind of makes me hungry a little bit, so if you hear my stomach growling, just ignore that, okay? Oh, uh, I love this fragrance. Love it! Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I need the I need a 3.4 ounce bottle of this because the only other rose fragrance that I simply adore is Chloe. Y'all know this. I've talked about it a million times. This is right up there with Chloe now because it's just so beautiful. The notes in this fragrance um include pink pepper, freesia, mandarin orange, pink rose, patchouli, sandalwood, and amber. Um, according to Fragrantica, it's considered a floral, woody, rose, citrus fragrance. So maybe that's where I'm getting the whole sparkly vibe or whatever is from the uh, citrus. But the notes in this combined together just make a beautiful, simply beautiful fragrance. And I don't own a lot of fragrances uh, from Oscar de la Renta, but this was, I'm just happy to have this in my collection. So this is a one point fluid ounce and this is an Eau de Parfum. Um, it's just, it's beautiful guys, like it's really beautiful. If you see this in TJ Maxx, in Marshalls or wherever you shop for discount fragrances, you see this, pick this up. Uh, I strongly recommend fragrances to y'all that I feel like y'all are going to really, 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 really like. And I feel like you're going to really like this one. I'm telling you. This is, if you ask me, like, I would wear this 12 months out of the year. Definitely. It's just so gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. I can't say enough about this fragrance. I really, really simply adore this fragrance. Okay. My last one. And I've talked about this one before. I want to make sure I have the notes ready for you guys. This is from the House of Versace. And this is the Dreamer. Um, I was sprayed on myself. 
<laughs> y'all know I've talked about this fragrance before in some of my previous videos and y'all every time I spray this fragrance it like shuts me down it just like I just go silent I, I just be like It just like it's, it makes me speechless, and this is a uh, men's fragrance, but ooh, it just it goes so well with my chemistry and my skin. I love this fragrance. Uh, this is the Dreamer. It has lavender, mandarin, geranium. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I would be a big geranium fan. I'm just learning more and more about myself every day. <laughs> Rose, Tobacco, and Tonka. Y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the, I smell the geranium in this. And when I first, I can always pick up on a green leafy note. And I don't know if it's, if it's from a geranium leaf or a geranium flower. But... This is really good, okay? This is really good. Now, I don't know if I would blind buy this. I blind bought it, you know, because it was on sale. But I don't know if you should blind buy it because, you know, once again, I don't know. I feel like it could be a little bit risky, okay? But when I was at TJ Maxx, I don't know if y'all do this, but when I'm perfume shopping, I always go to Fragrantica. I always look up the notes and all that good stuff to see if it has some of the notes that I love for myself. And this one actually did. I think I bought it because it said citrus on it. Of course, I guess I'm a big citrus fan, child. But the geranium in it and the lavender in this fragrance really stands out to me and uh, it's just it's just so good I'm trying to see what this this may be a little soapy okay but not like your cheap soap not like Dove or anything like that we talking about expensive soap okay like $20 $30 bar of soap that's what it kind of puts me in the frame of mind of like a very expensive bar of soap it's very, I really really enjoy this fragrance so yeah I mean if you like lavender if you like geranium if you like citrus you might like this one but I would smell it definitely smell it before you buy it okay just be on the, just to be on the safe side just to be safe okay so that is it for my top five fragrances that I'm currently wearing at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you are new to my channel, again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, okay? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will put my Instagram down in the description bar below. Go ahead and... Go follow me on Instagram, y'all, because I'm almost at my 2K uh, subbies. And I, as I mentioned before, I am going to do a nice, cute little giveaway um, to, you know, just let you guys know how much I thank you for supporting my channel. Again, thank you for everybody that's been supporting me. Thank you for those that watch my videos all the time. I really love you. You guys are very much appreciated. And I hope you guys are staying safe. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.